Well, I'm back out for another day's fishing in the Ribble Estuary. And to be honest, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I think it's a little rough for taupe. Um, but I've heard there's a lot of sole about, there's a lot of flatfish, and I haven't done a, a video on drifting sandbanks with flatfish, so maybe we'll do that, try to get some sole in place. I'm not sure, I've just, I've had an earlier finish than I thought I would. Uh, the van's, I got a call saying it's MOT's pass, so I've, I've rigged the boat up, got myself kitted out, and we're down here. Um, so let's get the boat in the water and figure out what we're going to do, but I'm sure we'll catch something. Just getting into the sandbanks here now. You can just see the water's gone the uh, that sort of muddy colour that we like to see for the flatfish. So thinking the game plan is I'm gonna have a drift or an anchor, not decided which yet, with some lugworm baits. I've only got old baits unfortunately. Let's just see what we can catch. Well I just thought I'd I'd show this because not many people get down this way. This is a the wreck of a ship called the Zealandia. Uh, wish I, I knew more about it to tell you. Um, it, it's a wreck that's always, it's always in water, it's in sort of 24-7 water, it never dries out, but um, yeah, people do fish it, I've never fished it properly, but it must hold some fish. I'm not going to anchor it now, but I just thought it's a point of interest because uh, people don't get down this way too much in their boats. Well, oh my god, I've no idea if that's focusing. Okay, so I haven't really managed to get the rods out. It's been a, one of those days where the plant's completely changed. But I did have to show you, I thought I wasn't going to make a video, but I am because I do have to show you some of the things that I've caught in the shrimp net. Because the fishing didn't go very well, but the shrimping has got me some really nice fish. The first one being, sorry about that, the, uh, the SD card cut out there. So, first of all, is this beautiful Dover sole. That's a, that's a massive Dover sole. It must be getting on for two pound that. Might even weigh it. Um, so yeah, that's a lovely fish and I had a few of those. I'll just show you a couple of the others. I think this is the biggest one I've picked out to show you, but yeah, they, they are a really nice stamp of sole. So I'm over the moon at that. Yeah, that's going to be a lovely eating fish. This is why I, I didn't really get the rods in. I may still yet, but I've just, I've just been concentrating on the, on the shrimping. A couple of really big flounder. Look at those. Lovely flounder there. Turn that one around. Lol. There we go. Beautiful fish again. Probably not too far off two pound themselves. I uh, got a really big dab. I kept this dab just because it, it's a specimen dab. You don't get them that big really. Uh, that's a nice one, that'll be coming over me. And then, yeah, the highlights were, I don't very often see these in the estuary. How are we gonna show these to you? Two turbot, can, can you see those? I've no idea what I'm filming, I can't see. But I've got two little turbot, I'll put some close-ups in. Um, but they're a rarity in this estuary, and obviously these are juveniles, so they're going back, so that's good to see. After this haul, I decided to come off the Southport banks as it was about bang on low tide and come about a mile or two west to meet with a friend who'd landed on one of the sandbanks which lie at the entrance of the river mouth. Running extremely shallow right now, I'm trying to get to my mate who's over there. Sandbank's right there. You can tell just by the weight that uh, it's very shallow. 1.9 foot I've got, but we're gonna we're gonna make it. So this is a short video, just sort of show a bit of scenery. Here we are on a, a sandbank. This is a bar on the outside of the Ribble Estuary. Out there goes to sea. And you've got the current running through here and into the river. And the same on the other side. You can see if I zoom in on that. That line of white water where it's bouncing over the shallows. You wouldn't want to get caught on that in a big tide like this. That would really drag your boat. But we managed to navigate in, and I can just show you here, look, 
Look how fast it's just ripping in. So I think we'll head on home. Jeez. You can tell it's a big tire when it does that. The small tires, it, they don't chase you in the same way, but these big tires, they do fill up quick, so you do have to be careful. See, that sandbank I was sat on is just gone now. It's just a tiny little bar now. All this was land. And about 30 seconds to a minute ago, that's how fast these big tires work. Yeah, so sorry this video is not going to be the longest, it's not going to be a big fishing video or anything, but probably better to put something up this week than nothing, and I just had to show you those fish because those so were beautiful. I've had six or seven that big in the, in the shrimp net. I wish I could figure out how to get them on rod and line, but I didn't try that hard to be fair, I didn't have that good bait. But yeah, I'm going to gut the catch now because I kept a couple of flounder, uh, those sole, and a big dab, and yeah. Head on in, it's getting a little bit rough, but it's a lovely warm evening and I've been really enjoying being out. Shame the rod fishing didn't go well, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I did run in after that bit to camera as the tide had just started flooding and it was a pleasant but shallow run home against a lovely summer sunset. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.